Jesse, I think the president is going to make a statement. Okay, let's listen. Let's listen in. Well, thank you very much. This is a very sad day for America. And it was also very sad driving through Washington, D.C., and seeing the filth and the decay and all of the broken buildings and walls and the graffiti. This is not the place that I left. It's a very sad thing to see it. Uh, when you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Thank you very you much. Want these elect you want these this is election interference at its finest against the leading candidate right now for president for either party. President Trump is under siege in a way that we have never seen before. People are afraid of somebody that cannot be bought by Washington. People are afraid of somebody who is independently wealthy and who has given up his good life to fight for this country. And that frightens a lot of politicians who are career politicians, unfortunately. We have seen them try and tie up, and me as an attorney, I've never seen this, tie up one individual who's, a campaign, who's running a campaign, in a campaign, running for office for president, so that he is in court, in depositions, and distracted, so that he won't properly run for 2024. And frankly, it's not gonna work. So President Trump has 